there, friends, and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna. Today, we're going to be unboxing the first class edition of Final Fantasy VII Remake. What? We're going to be unboxing a game that I'm in. Are you kidding me? I am so excited. Thank you so much to Square Enix for sending this to me. I cannot believe that this is here in my hands, and I am so excited to see what's inside. I uh, opened it up just to make sure that the actual game was in here as well, just the, the top of it. Um, and so when Final Fantasy VII Remake launched on Twitch, we had an unofficial impromptu launch party, and someone mentioned, gosh, if only we had party poppers, and I thought, wait a minute, I have confetti cannons. Five, four, three, two, one. Confetti went everywhere. It was a huge mess, but it was so worth it. We had such a fun time with that. There's confetti all in this box. So when it falls out, that's why. I just had to leave a quick explanation for you. Let's unbox this amazing game. I might cry. You guys know me. I'm a crier. I can't help it. Okay. What should we do first? Oh no. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. We'll, we'll do the smaller box first. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So the first thing I see is this beautiful Final Fantasy VII Remake lanyard. I already have one of these, but you can never have too many, of course. If you're new to this channel, you may not know that one of my rules for unboxings is if I'm given something to wear, I must wear it. That is the rules of the unboxings in the Strange Rubble Gaming House. <laughs> More confetti, of course. Is it in my hair? Oh gosh. Of course it is. Of course it is. The moment of truth. I can't believe it's here. it in my hands! <laughs> I cannot believe this! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm shaking right now. Oh, this is so exciting! She's beautiful! I have to open it up. I have to see everything. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful! Okay. Oh, there's goodies in here. Oh, there's goodies in here. Okay. Let's pull it all out at once. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So the first thing, of course, is the game with the box art. Oh my gosh. Mini soundtrack. I don't know what mini means. It has 12 tracks, which include the Prelude, Tifa's theme, Shinra's theme, Scorpion Sentinel, On Our Way, the Turk's theme, Let the Battles Begin! Exclamation mark. Flowers blooming in the church. Hurry, exclamation mark. Main theme of Final Fantasy VII, lay down some rubber and stand up. I am so excited to listen to these. On repeat, all day, every day for the rest of my life. Final Fantasy VII Remake Deluxe Edition Art Book. Just go to a random page to show you kinda what's here. Oh, and I've seen so many tweets about this that every character art has a picture of them as a toad and what they look like as toad. <laughs> oh, Leviathan and Bahama, they look so good. Okay, hold on, we have to find Aerith. Hold on, hold on. We cannot continue until we all share. <laughs> She's beautiful. Look at her. So this is child Aerith. She has some cute little art. This is her character design. Here's Toad Aerith. She still has her little bow. I love it. Wow, I am so happy this came with this. It's perfect compact size, too. 
And this, oh man, it's so satisfying. What's in here? Oh, it's nothing is in here. So this is the game and then this is the steel book case. And I gotta say, she's gorgeous. True story, at E3, I saw people walking around with this on a t-shirt and I thought, I have to get that. So I went to the Square Enix booth, I said, I have to get this. And they said, they are so limited edition that I don't even have one to give to Aerith. And I thought, whoa. So if you're one of the owners of this design on a t-shirt, you are one of the lucky few. I didn't even get one of those. A couple more things that I wanna highlight about what comes in the actual game disc container is the Cactuar Summoning Materia, which I'm so excited to use. It also has pictures of the official Remake Play Arts figurines, which I have Crisis Core Aerith, but I don't have Remake Aerith, so I'm very excited about that. I think they might be on pre-order right now, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and place my pre-order now. Now, it's time to unbox the first class edition Play Arts Cloud on the Hardy Daytona figurine. That's how excited I am. <laughs> I'm confetti everywhere after I already spent all night cleaning up confetti, excited. Here we go. What does it look like? Nothing yet. Throw that box down there. How do I open this magical apparatus? Okay. Handy dandy safety box cutter, of course. Oh y'all! Okay. Okay, 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 it just got real. Gently now. Steady. It's really hard to do this gracefully, I'll be honest. <laughs> Here it is! Okay. Oh, so loud. Oh, it smells like a fresh figurine. It's got that fresh figurine smell. Wow. This is so cool! The wheels turn, wow. I got the chance to actually sit on a Hardy Daytona model at E3 and it was so epic and so cool to have this in my house is one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me. A few different things that Play Arts figurines kind of have across the board based on my knowledge of the Crisis Core when I also got there's a few different hands that you can put on Cloud, so he has a few different hands that you can put. He's so cute! Just, just look at him! Just look at his face! He's so adorable! I love him! Wow, and the textures on this are actually really cool. So you can, you can almost, it almost looks like it would feel exactly like the kind of knit sweater material that he wears. Um, so he is poseable, which is nice and cool, so you can pose him however you want. And like I was saying, he has a few different hands that you can put on him. This is the most important thing right here. Buster sword. Oh my gosh, it's so epic. I'll never get over it. Okay, well, I'm gonna switch out Cloud's hand right now because he needs to hold his own dang buster sword. There it is, my friends. Ooh, oh, he sliced himself in the head. Wait, there we go. Nice. I cannot imagine how hard it must have been to make this figurine so that he could stand, pose any different way, but also ride a motorcycle. <laughs> Most action figurines do not have the capability to spread their legs and, and angle them just right so it looks like they're riding a motorcycle. I cannot imagine how hard that must have been, but they did an amazing job. He looks so good. This is so epic and it feels super solid too. It's actually a little bit heavy, which I like. So it doesn't it doesn't necessarily feel like a child's toy. It feels like a collectible, which is awesome. I am so happy. He's beautiful. 
The only problem is he's so big, I have to find a spot for him. I don't know if I have it. I'm gonna have to add another shelf just for Cloud. So that's it for this unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching with me. I want to take a quick moment to thank all of the new subscribers. Welcome to Strange Rebel Gaming. We've had a big boom ever since a tweet of mine went a little bit crazy and got a ton of views. And I wasn't expecting that, but I'm, I'm super happy that it did because it's just all the more opportunity for more, bigger, better, Strange Rebel family. It's all the more opportunity for hopefully my content to reach more people in a way that makes them happy, in a way that brightens their day. That is truly all I ever want out of my content is to make people happy and help them enjoy games more. So I hope that my content does that for you. Feel free to take a look through my playlists if you're new here. I've played The Last of Us, Life is Strange, Life is Strange 2 is still ongoing, Horizon Zero Dawn and God of War are still ongoing on my channel, and obviously there's gonna be a ton of remake content. Now's actually a good time for me to bring up the fact that I know I had said that I would finish Final Fantasy VII before Final Fantasy VII Remake came out. That didn't take into account the whole global pandemic that's going on right now. I had set and ready another playthrough with a special guest that I know you guys will love if the opportunity ever presents itself again. Unfortunately, that got canceled because of the coronavirus, so there will be more Final Fantasy VII original content. It just won't have the special guests until later. I can play it myself so that I can get it out sooner, or I can wait and continue to bring on special guests later on. Just let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your opinion is. Leave me a comment and tell me what you'd like to see. I was not expecting what has gone on this year and it's really thrown things, it's thrown me for a loop, I'll just put it that way. So I really wanna just get in contact with you guys and see what you want out of that content, what you want out of that because nothing is normal anymore, so we kinda have to be flexible and see what's gonna happen next. And as always, I make this content for you, so it's important to me that your input is part of the decision-making process. I think that's all of the housekeeping things that we have. I will be streaming Final Fantasy VII Remake on my Twitch channel live first, so if you want to hang out there, the link is in the description below. It's twitch.tv slash thestrangerebel. That's where all the content is going to be streamed first, and then I'll be, of course, always, I always do, post it to YouTube later so that you guys can enjoy it no matter what platform you're on. That's pretty much it, I think, as far as the update, housekeeping, remake, First class edition, so cool. Thank you again to Square Enix for sending it to me. This was a dream come true. I'm so in love, I'm so happy, and I just can't wait to play more games. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. If you enjoyed it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. That's truly all. I love you guys so much. And I really mean it. Thank you for all of the love that has been sent my way this past week. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <sighs> um, I haven't really had a chance to process all of the nice things that you've all said to me because it has been a lot, I'll be honest. I didn't, didn't really expect such a flood of nice comments. So, thank you all. I wish I could respond to every single one. I have tried so hard. I wish I could like every single one. I've tried to do that and there's just there's there's too many. I mean, there was too many before, but there's there's really too many now. I hate giving blanket statements. I hate not thanking people personally and individually because every message I receive is personal and individual and and so genuine and unique and kind. I'm just so so grateful for all of you for loving the game, for loving this character, for letting this game be a part of your life and your heart and your passion and then going forth and sharing that with me. That's unreal. It's, it's incredibly generous of you and I just appreciate you all so much. Now I'm gonna stop talking. I really can't send enough love your way, but but I hope this was a little bit of what I could do. So 
truly that's all <laughs> i love you guys